Welcome to air. Good morning! Oh dear. <laughs> We're in air. We weren't going to be coming to air, but I've brought us to air. I just wanted to check out the motorhome situation. You can park here for free at this time of year. I think it's just April to September you have to pay. Five pound a night. So that means we're officially wild camping today. Yes, first time in a long time. <laughs> yes. Probably since the dogging night. Yeah, I was going to say it's been <laughs> over a year, two years. Possibly. <laughs> I don't know. Um, now we have heard stories that there's a lot of boy racers use this at night, but we're not too bothered Didn't about that. Didn't put me off. I, I love it here. I feel really comfortable. There's it, lots it, of neighbours. It won't put me off. I just don't want the noise. But we're going to get it tonight, I think. Especially today because it is the most beautiful weather we've had in Scotland so far. No, yesterday was. Give over. There's it no was. wind. It's warm. Oh yeah, it was windy. Wasn't it's warm. It? There's yeah. no wind, and the sun's yeah. trying. <laughs> yeah, we're just on the beach here. Yep, right That's in front amazing. of the beach. And yeah, we were gonna go on to Troon and park there tonight, but we're not now. We're gonna stay here. Yeah, I love it here. Maz is perfectly happy. Yeah. It reminds me... In the middle of all them. It reminds me... Well, it's free! Stop complaining! But it reminds me of the place we went yesterday. I keep forgetting what it's called. Girvan? Is Girvan. it Girvan? Yeah. Well, yeah, it is the Ayrshire... I'm guessing Ayrshire... Uh, council who've set up these two motorhome stocks. No, but the like whole town, I mean, seems like it does It's like a trial like... for this year. Yeah. And it seems to be going well, so... Ah. I think they'll be keeping it. It's one way of bringing tourists to the town, isn't it? It's one way of bringing us to the town. Yeah. <laughs> so it is a beautiful view we've got of Arran. But I'm not expecting anything from air, as it. I think it's just going to be a proper you town. You are so negative. We've not even got there yet. I know. It's just I've been you looking are. on Google and TripAdvisor and everything, and I can't find anything exciting. I hope I'm going to be proven wrong. Oh. I think it's just going to be a proper, proper town with nothing it's to nice. excite me. <laughs> nothing against you, air. Um, I just don't think it's going to be full of history. That's what I'm trying to say. There's going to be no history, Mazzy. I have been here once before. Oh, yeah. Well, Prestwick, just up the road. Okay, yeah. I believe it was the winter of 1992. Yeah. It was a rave at Prestwick Airport. <laughs> One, oh, you remember you telling me this? 120,000 people there. K Class were headlining. At midnight, they had back, uh, Pied Pipers. Pied Pipers? Bagpipers. Yeah. <laughs> it was incredible. 120,000 youths just having fun. <laughs> How old was you? <laughs> About 17, 18. Loved it. Ooh. That was New Year's, wasn't it? It was New Year's Eve, yeah. yes. It cost a fortune, <laughs> but it was worth it. That was the first time I ever had square sausages. Was it? Yes. Tell us a story. I bet you were really drunk and you got the munchies on and you were starving. So no, 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 no. We actually came up. Craig, my friend, my yeah. best friend back then, he he met, met a friend on holiday yeah. abroad somewhere. Yeah. Who was Scottish and we came up and we stayed with him in Kirkcaldy, I think. And we got a coach over to Prestwick Airport for the evening, but his mother made us square sausages while we stayed there. Oh, bless! Oh, that's so Memories. <laughs> so speaking about the Isle of Arran, we're not going. We were going to book it, Not because we? I said I'm not going. Oh, no, no, no. No. <laughs> no. I went to, basically, all Mazzy wanted me to do is show her all the parking spots and all yeah. the attractions and weigh it up. It, it had it to be worth, worth going over, yeah, because yeah. it was going to cost us quite a bit of money. <laughs> so I pretty much decided, yes, we, we are going to go over. It is yeah. worth going. But I came to yeah. book tickets or look for booking tickets. None available for a motorhome our size for a week. <laughs> Um, there was a few available to come back off the aisle, but none to go to the aisle. They do five trips over there every day. Wow. But there were none available for a week. Yeah. And I think it's something to do with, there's two crosses, there's one from the other side of the island from somewhere else. And that's shut down at the moment for some reason, so it's running at 30% of its capacity. Something like that, I read. And also, you were saying... To get back, you have to get a nine o'clock boat every evening. It was about half nine, half ten, yeah. I find that really strange. Yeah, and I, did. I wouldn't like you driving at night you're, with your eyes. Yeah. Anyway, it's not happening. No. <laughs> look at him, look. 
giving out tips to these two on the um, well, he is old metal it. detecting. He's losing six <laughs> inch there, too high <laughs> off the ground. I wonder if he'd recognise me. Yeah. <laughs> Did you uh, metal detect this beach, babe? Probably. I really can't remember. You did the last one, didn't I'm you? Sure I, I think did. that's a lady anyway, darling. So I don't want to be in town centre because it's just wearing a first nappy and it's just going to be like any other town. And I really don't want to be down here. Um, Mazzy says, oh, let's go to that lighthouse over there. I says, Mazzy, it's about a mile away. It was at the time when we set off ten minutes ago. Still going to take us ten minutes to get there. It looks nice. It looks worth it. There's something here to see, Mazzy. What is it? A boat. Really? Yes. So here is the boat. It's supposed to represent, I think, all the fishing from within air. And it's been oh. here for decades. And it's yeah. never been restored. And all the locals complain, saying it's an eyesore. Get it resor restored. Sort it out. They're just, they've done nothing with it. I'm guessing it's all down to money at the end of the day, but... Yeah, it costs quite a bit, I imagine. It's just been there. But it's got character. It is beautiful still, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it? I like them when they're rusty and they fall yeah. into bits. Personally, but, you know, you should have a few signs up. Attract people here, put some benches around it. You know, this is just all nothingness. Put some nice garden in here, it'd be alright, yeah. Don't know how well you can see that in the middle there. But we're not sure if it's a sculpture or not. It's like the end of a crane stuck straight up into a bit of concrete. I think it's sculpture, Mazzy. I think it's art. Because there is a yeah. sign over there saying air sculpture. Okay, art, sculpture, art. Are you ready for this? <laughs> this guy here, what's he called? A local artist, Donald Urquartz. Urquartz? He did it. That's it. <laughs> Someone walking past him, Mazzy told me to be quiet. Yeah, I don't really care, Mazzy, I'm sorry. Because you're running the local artist. I don't there. care, you've got to be honest, haven't you? Mm -hmm. This is art, apparently. This is the sculpture. There's two of them, there's another one somewhere. Is there? Yeah, it runs parallel with it or something. That is it. Now, this sculpture dude, his vision was to have some seating there as well, but they haven't put seating there, unless that's classed as seating. Looks more like a coffin to me. I like the fact how they pointed out the fact that he went to Edinburgh for his painting skills. <laughs> I like the fact that there's nothing to like. Yeah, this is nice, isn't it? An old scraggly building. <laughs> yeah, that's better. <laughs> this is the port of Air Kintyre Terminal. Do you think that's meant to be art, Mazzy? Don't you like it? No. See it all. All the tyres around the edge. That's because the... it's the port of Erkin Tyre. Do you think that's why they <gasps> put the tyres there? It's more <laughs> local art rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> We're heading up here anyway. We're just going to see this silly little lighthousey thing and then turn around and walk for another mile till we we'll get somewhere else. You're all joy today, aren't you? Well, I'm trying. <laughs> Now oh that my is God, Mazzy, a seal. Oh my goodness! A seal right next to us. Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he gone? Why didn't I bring my other camera now, eh? Here he comes. Come on, up to the surface. Here you come. Look at him. You beautiful, beautiful little boy. Thank you so much. What great timing. It's about the fourth or fifth time he's come up to see me. Yeah, he likes you. Oh, you just want to cuddle him. He is beautiful. He's big, isn't he? Look at him. Hello. Oh. Hello, buddy. <laughs> just saying to Dan, I he'll be back. He seems to like Dan. Look, he's looking straight at you, babe. <laughs> so I wasn't keen on the idea of coming down here. Really glad I did now. 
That was special. Was that's ev the closest we've ever ever been to one? Is we it happy? is. It is the closest we've ever been to one. Yeah, it was right under my feet. See? Fantastic. It was a good idea. You've got to stay positive, and good things come out the day then. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, honey! So I'll see you. <laughs> Look at the thickness of that seaweed there. That's a good foot, I'd say, isn't it? One and a half foot minimum there. And we've noticed these all the way along. I don't know if you can see. It's just like little bits of white string, a bit like cobweb. A little. It's like actually, cobwebby stuff. Yeah, isn't they it? were actually blowing in from yeah. when we were up there and they were getting caught in the vents and getting caught in the vents. I don't know what it is. So, if anyone knows what this stuff is, it's coming out from sea. Please let us know. It's very interesting. Yeah, what is it? I probably can't see it. Oh, it's stuck on me. Oh, get up. Oh, my ring. Yeah, your <laughs> ring came off. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I told you I need a new one that's too big. <laughs> anyway, let's go. You're excelling yourself today, Mazzy. I am. You didn't want to come down I here. I didn't want to come down I knew here. No. It was going to be good down this here. This looks like it's an old school. Big wall here. I thought nothing of it, but apparently this was built by Cromwell back in 1652 and it was to show the Scottish that the English were still in control. And we just found on this sign here there's an app. So I'm just downloading that at the moment. This is number four of seven. So we've got another six of these to find, hopefully. Cromwell's Citadel, is that how you pronounce that? Citadel, it's like a big fort. This is what it will have looked like. That's where we are. So that's the big wall we've just been seeing. Now, um, apparently, Oliver Cromwell says when this was built, it was yeah. so expensive. He said, uh, "God, what was the what are the walls made out of silver?" <laughs> he was so shocked. Apparently, the walls I think are made from the uh, stone from Air uh, Castle. Oh yeah. And another castle up the uh, up the coast. So if you look here, this one don't look like it survived, but this one we'll show you now in a minute. The turrets. Yeah. Yeah, the like, lookout turrets. So one's gone from over there. There is a bit of one left over there. Let's That's go take really a look. Good. So I wasn't excited about air at all, but I am now because I've got the app. <laughs> look at this. Can you see all them little blobs? They're all places of interest. Brilliant. So you've got your history now. I've got my history. So yeah, we're just I've coming up to a bit it. here, Mazzy. Yeah. The Lang Scots Mile. That's some kind of walk, but there's something yeah. else hiding behind it. Can I get to that? Because we did um, half of that Langscott's Mile going over to the lighthouse then. Yeah. Yeah. Millie's Folly. Yeah, it's so, I was just saying how it's survived all them years. It's precariously just hanging on for dear life, isn't it? Sorry, it's Miller's Folly. Miller's. Um, beautiful. It's just an ornament built in the 1900s. It's oh, not it's as old not, as the castle. Oh, it's not one of those turret things on the corner that we thought it was. Local folklore predicts it will fall on a redhead who walks beneath it. <laughs> <laughs> film it, Mazza, film it. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful though. Oh, they have tried stabilising it there. Got some metal struts up there. Oh, we need to, we need to just put it on a time lapse here and wait for gingers to come. It's going to fall, Mazza. Redheads. Gingers. Right, I don't know if you can see the little blob right up in the distance. It's a traffic warden with ginger air and it's just about to walk under the tower. We had to film it. We had to film it. Go on. Oh, give it a kick. Mazzy, go give Wall a kick. Oh, 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 he got away with it. Oh, that would have been good, wouldn't it? <laughs> On a traffic warden. Bridge. It's just a bridge, but it is quite nice. Boring church built in the 1840s. Across there, we're not going over the bridge, but there is like a market cross. It's just like a big stump that goes up. It's from, I think, 1314. It's very, very old. Get into it a bit more. You need to. What put... more do you want to know? No, I just mean your enthusiasm. What about a stick in ground? It's made out of stone and it goes up. Nothing around it. And it wasn't always there. They moved it in 1913 so that they could get trams where they, want, they wanted trams oh, where no. it was. 
<laughs> market cross. Used to have markets, you see, every from night from what did I say? 13 something. Ridiculously long time ago. But I have to tell you, if you come to air, download that app. It is fantastic. It's got about 70 different places. So as you're going around, your phone will ping and tell you, oh, you're okay. near this now, you're near this now, you're near this now. Oh, that's good. And when she says, what's that, I can tell her. St. John's. Beginning of St. John's Street, I believe, Mazzy. I read it on my app. Right up the high street, it's a bit noisy, isn't it? Very. But it is beautiful. I don't know what that building is there. You just got some ping on what your that? phone. It's the yeah. Malt Cross, Mazzy. Oh, the Malt Cross, yeah. That's not the cross you were just talking about, is it? Oh no, sorry, the Malt Cross was located here, it's not here anymore. Oh. I'm guessing the Malt Cross is that sticker we were just talking about over there, because they moved yeah. it for trams. Anyway, you, your phone just pinged, didn't it? You're near yeah. scary, is what it said. Oh, that was back there. Yeah, yeah. It was just telling us a folklore <laughs> story about two witch, well, true story, about two witches who were killed here, but I didn't read it all because you wanted to move on. No, I went over to the pet shop to have a look at the pet. Yeah, too many words. People like stories, tell us stories. I'll look it up later when I've got more time. I've got plenty of time, I'm here all day. That's the spirit. All right, so you wanted to know the story yeah, about the witch. Yeah, we yeah. The witch was called uh, Maggie Osborne, and she was burnt at the stake right here. Oh, wow. For what? For being a witch. <laughs> no, how to be a witch, not in them days. So yeah, the malt cross used to be here and this is where they burnt the witch. Imagine thousands of people coming round to watch the witch be burnt. This is Fort Venom, has it? Yeah. It's one of the oldest street names in air. Yeah. That's interesting. It means narrow lane. What is it exactly down here? Not really, no. There's like an electric chair over here. Check this out. What? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Where's the on button? <laughs> it's not an electric chair. No, it did look like one. Well. This is Loudon Hall, built in the early 16th century. This is 500 years old. Yeah, it's beautiful. I think they've done it up a bit. Mm. This seat, you can see, Mazzy, this came, this was built by the sculptor who made Blackpool Towers comedy carpet. I don't know what that is. Neither do I. Oh. <laughs> That's it's nice funny. though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Hey, look, there is actually a sinage up there, a signage. A sinage? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on then, for all those people who really like their history. Loudon Hall, fill your boots. I've just seen something on the floor here. What's that? Yeah. Fish and chips. Well, I thought that looks old. But then I thought, it's actually metal. It's a sculpture, it's isn't a it? It's a sculpture. That's so chips. good! The something family favourite. The original family favourite. What a strange That odd is thing. so good! Somebody look that up and tell us what it is in the comments. I want to know about the fish and chip plaque on the floor outside Loudon Hall. There's going to be more. I didn't think there were any history here. Yeah, you're loving it now. Google Maps really didn't do this place justice, I'm telling you now. Beautiful. In fact, I'd go as far as to say this is my favourite place I've ever been, ever. Yeah, I like it. I really like it. What's that say? I bide my time. I bide my time. Just bide with us. Yeah, just keep biding. There's no else to say. <laughs> oh, he's really getting stuck into his history now. He loves signs. This is the site of, site of the seaport, darling. Yeah. Come on, there's got to be more history. Yeah, but... Wait! Got some art. Got mini, sh mini shade there. Yeah, cool. Proper art. <laughs> On the beach, 1906. That's really good, 1930. Wow, look how busy it is. God, you'd have to queue up just to sit on the wall. Yeah! <laughs> oh, this is good. I love pictures like this. What's, oh, that's a... What's gone wrong? High wife? Street Demolition. Oh, this oh, is my favourite. Oh, I wonder what that's all about. Punch and Judy show. Oh, yeah, well, the little kids are enjoying themselves. 1950s. Beach huts. Very nice. Yeah. It's, it's the are you actually saying you enjoyed the art? I like that art. Oh, 
it's the kind of place you go around and you know when you, there's like a scruffy little uh, passageway you feel like you want to go down it because in a lot of these there's like plaques in them alleyways yeah and things to see yeah hi Abiel yeah a pound of sausages please mate <laughs> well they got babe anything nice oh yeah that looks good doesn't it Looks good. <laughs> this is where the original cross was, the market cross. Oh! They've moved it over there. Oh, so you got it wrong. Well, I didn't get it wrong. No, I don't get things wrong. What's the um, man all about then? That's a fisherman with a fish. Yeah. Makes you want to sing, have a little fishy on a little tishy when the boat comes in. <laughs> 